the table's ready dight. Here is water. Now wash forth right. Now blow up, minstrel, with all your might. The service cometh in soon. Take our seat. Without he will obey we thee. There is no lord of might so great throughout the world, in no country, in worship to abide. I was never merrier here before. Then said that I was first born, that I am right here, upon this morn. In joy I begin to glide. I heard a page make pressing of pride. All princes he passeth, he weans of posty, he weans to be worthiest of all this world wide. King over all kings, that page weaneth to be. He sent into Bethlehem to seek on every side Christ for to quell, if they might him see. But of his wicked will, the Lurden, he lied. God's son doth live. There is no Lord but he. Over all lords, he is king. I am death, God's messenger. Our mighty God hath sent me here too, yon lurden to slay without more ado. Spare neither wine nor bread, for now I am King alone, so worthy as I be there none. Therefore, Sir so nice be merry everyone. For now my foe is dead. When the boy sprawled at my spear end, by setting our sire, it were a goodly sight. A good game it was, that boy, for to shend. He would be our king and put you from your right. Yeah, it was a lovely to see those lads leap onto our spear tips and straightway to sleep. All oh, babes that are bowling in Bethlehem at breast. Their naps know no ending. And thy realm knows rest. Amongst all that great rat, dead he is, I have no doubt. Therefore, our minstrels round about, blow up a merry fit. I am sent from God. Death is my name. All thing that is on ground I wield at my will, both man and beast and bird, wild and tame. When I come them to, with death I do them kill. Herb, grass and trees strong with my dents I spill. What man that I wrestle with he shall right soon have shame. I give him such a trip up. He shall evermore lie still. For death cannot sport. Where I smite there is no grace. After my stroke man hath no space to make amends for his trespass. But God him grant comfort. Oh, see how proudly yon caitiff at meat he now sits. Of death hath he no doubt. He weaneth to live forevermore. To him shall I go and give him such hits that all the leeches of the land his life shall ne'er restore. After my dreadful dents no plea availeth yet. 
afore I part him fro. I shall make him full poor. All the blood of his body I shall him out sweat. For now I go to slay him with strokes sad and sore. I shall then make to me thrall. With my spear, slay them I shall. And so cast down his pride. Each one in such like array, with death he shall be dight, and closed cold in clay, whether they be king or knight. For all their garments gay, that seemly were in sight, their flesh shall fret away with many a woeful white. Thus woefully such wormy whites shall gnaw these gay knights, their lungs and their lights, their hearts shall fret in sunder, these masters most in might. Thus shall they be brought under. Your ruddiness so red, your liar lily-like, then shall be one as lead and stink as dog in dyke. This space about us all no corpse shall need as much. The roof of thy hall, thy naked nose shall touch. 